Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we are on Proverbs 12, 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. Looking at this scripture, this one is a little bit easier to understand. It talks about we are foolish when we think we are right in our own eyes versus looking at counsel brings us wisdom. And this counsel that it is talking about is number one, obviously, uh, God's wisdom and his counsel brings us wisdom, but also using and learning who have wisdom. Reading this scripture, I was reminded I had just uh, listened to a man and he was explaining that he grew up in a family of 10 kids and there were nine boys and one girl. And he was talking about at one point there was seven boys and they all stayed in one bedroom. There was three sets of bunk beds and the youngest just kind of rotated for a while. So at nighttime, they shut the door and there's seven boys in a room. Well, he was talking about, you know, with 10 kids, there wasn't a lot of toys. And without being toys, they became very creative of trying to how to entertain each other. And so at night one time, they had decided in complete darkness with three bunk beds, I'm going to see if I can jump from one bed, bunk bed at the very top to the other bunk bed in the, at the very top with no light. <laughs> Let's do this. He did it. And guess what? He made it. And then he decided to tell the younger, some of the younger siblings, why don't you do it? And get up there, climb up, try to take a jump. And what do they do? They crash hard. <laughs> A loud thud. Just didn't make it. And I could, I was just laughing because I could imagine this. And I could imagine that many boys and the creativity and the stories that they have. And when I read this verse, I was thinking, yeah, that <laughs> could be seen as you feel right in your own eyes and you're really foolish uh, to be jumping bunk beds in the dark and then telling your younger siblings to do this. Probably not the best decision making. But then I looked and I said, you know what? I've done the exact same thing spiritually. Um, <laughs> in the dark, spiritually, I am trying to jump from one bed, bunk bed to the other and I am crashing hard and hit the floor and it is something else. But through that process of crashing and hitting hard, praise the Lord for his grace and mercy. He has taught me uh, that he has more wisdom than me and for me to seek him really. So I'm not repeating that experience way too many more times, right? And so for this scripture, just... Yeah, is this our decision and in the moment it seems right or are we really seeking the Lord? So I pray that the Holy Spirit with this scripture has encouraged you today.